So this video we're checking out the unhinged Joker lucky draw with of course the uh, well it's actually a redux I think actually but yeah it's got the legendary Gonzo skin and of course the legendary Dumper skin as well. Of course can't do a full gameplay full three gameplays of this Dumper so we're going to be using the uh, the other skin in it which is of course the Man of War Vicious Party and uh, yeah we're going to be trying to trying the, out the Man of War and showing you off the skin in the game. Uh, so yeah if you do go on to enjoy, enjoy the video make sure to of course like subscribe and if you do want my Man of War lineup, then make sure to, of course, stay tuned to the end for that. And let's get into the video. The next day shout out goes to Instinct. They have 451 subscribers at the time of recording this video. And yeah, they mainly do multiplayer related content. So if you do go over and enjoy their videos, then make sure to, of course, like the videos you do enjoy. And subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy the channel in general. Of course, I'll link down below in the description and up on the screen here. Make sure to go over, be supportive by leaving any supportive comments what you enjoy about the videos and be positive by leaving any positive comments on how they can improve the videos. So yeah, make sure to go away, be positive, be supportive and let's get into the video. Okay, so here we are in training mode, and as you can see, we have, of course, let's check out the Man of War first. Actually, let's do the Thumper first, let's add some bots. And here is, of course, the, the legendary Thumper. So of course, I would have, this is actually, it's actually quite a cool skin, it's quite nice and colourful. And yeah, the death is quite cool, but it is quite loud, I'm going to say. Um, I see it does get quite annoying sometimes. And uh, of course, the uh, doctor isn't, isn't isn't the best anymore. So um, the actual skin is going to get a. Uh, and 6 out of 10 I would say. So yeah. Decent skin. Let's give a quick, quick inspect. Uh, yeah, 6.5 6 out of 10. Definitely very nice skin. Then we're here we have the... Uh, the Man of War. Let's check out the Gonzo, legendary Gonzo skin first, actually. There you go. As you see, very, very decent skin. Of course, comes with that legendary chainsaw melee. I'm not going to show you it, in, but it's a very nice melee. Um, yeah, it's an interesting skin. Of course, if you do like the uh, the Gonzo theme, kind of like the clown theme, then uh, then this one's definitely for you. Um, yeah, but it's only get an 8 out of 10. I do really like it, it's got some nice detail to it. Uh, the, the voice can get very annoying sometimes. Uh, but yeah, after that, it's a really nice one. And then, of course, finally, we have this, uh, the amount of water I'm going to be using. Now, I thought originally, when I originally read this skip, these are uh, the luck job, this, that this might have customized lights. But as you can see, it actually does not. And it has the uh, the base ones, which are the best. So you may want to put a red dot on this thing. I didn't, of course, but you, you may want to. Here's the inspect. As you see, it's a very, very nice, very nice skin. As you can see, it has the Gonzo face on the, on, on the front of it. So yeah, it's a nice, colourful one. Although not the best, I'm going to give it a, a 7 out of 10. And then on to the actual Man of War. Um, as, you, as you guys all know, it got a buff this, uh, this it might have been this season or last season, to make it a a two shot kill if you do hit two headshots. Uh, and like with some of the others, like the AK-47 and the DRH, it's now boosted itself into the meta. Uh, now this is one. This one's a bit hard to use in something like the DRH or the AK-47, just because it does have that slow fire rate. So you just be a bit more accurate with it, and it also has low mobility, so you can't particularly be too uh, aggressive with it. It's a bit more of a passive, uh, longer range AR, I would say. But still, it was a lot of fun to use. 
And of course, as it does hit hard, it's very, very, it's like, it's very, very good. And I'd highly recommend checking it out. Of course, the uh, the recoil is very much more manageable on this thing. And the yeah, another problem is the down, is downside. No downside is the mag size. I've got a massive downside, but I just find it's, it's quite small taking out multiple players. Especially if you're actually as paranoid as Chuck Wilder as mine is. And now Hitfire Solo actually isn't the best either, so yeah. Here is the uh, Hitfire Spread Accuracy. As you can see, it's not the best, and also it does have a slower fire rate, so of course if you are going to be missing shots, it's not going to be too good for you. So I wouldn't recommend hit firing with this thing. And here is the recoil. Again, slower fire rate means uh, less recoil, because of course you're going to be kicking up less, so it's, it's shooting as well. So then we have 37. All the way over, so it's a guaranteed three shot basically, and then of course 50 to the head, two shot if you do hit two headshots, of course. And it does not drop off at all, so yeah, it's still very much very powerful at that range. And it drops off by a few at this range, and it goes down to 40, so it is you can still get a guaranteed three shot as long as you hit one headshot. It's still pretty good, I would say. It might be a bit more difficult that range, but yeah. Overall, it's a really nice. Overall, it's a really fun gun to use, and of course, it is a guaranteed three shot in most ranges. So it's very much one I would say definitely recommend you recommend checking out if you haven't already. But yeah, overall, the draws a really nice one. Uh, six, uh, seven out of ten. But as you would have seen, I already had most of it. Uh, they just added a new gun skin to it. Yeah, overall, super nice, super, super nice, um, super fun gun to use, uh, super satisfying gun to use as well when you do hit that 200 headshot. And uh, yeah, a really nice lucky draw overall, especially if you do like the Tonzo kind of creepy clown theme. So yeah, one highly worth checking out. Man of War again is highly worth checking out, especially the recent buffs it's received. So yeah, now it's going to, of course, the ranked gameplay.
Kaiser here is my Man of War loadout. As you can see, it is in a range accuracy build because, of course, the Man of War has slow fire rate and it's a slow gun in general, so you do want to put out for the medium to long range. I did enjoy quite quite enjoy using this gun, so it's one that I highly recommend you to check it out. So, yeah, we have the Colossus Suppressor for the science ability and plus 40% damage at range. We have the YKM at light stop for the minus, plus 20% ADS movement speed. We have the OWC TAC laser for the minus 8% ADS time, minus 9.2% ADS bullet spread. Um, we have the extended mag A for the plus 7 mag capacity. And finally, we have the managed good effect, minus 11.6% ADS bullet spread. <laughs>